So you're hearing me speak right now, but this isn't my voice. What you are hearing is a voice generated using artificial intelligence. So let's find out how I did this. <coughs> Now before I show you how this tech works, I want to talk a little bit about the sponsor of this video, DistroKid. DistroKid is a great service for indie musicians looking to get their music into streaming platforms and online stores. Now there are many services like this, but what's unique about DistroKid is that you pay a yearly fee and upload as many tracks as you like. What's even cooler is that you can upload cover songs. I've worked on a few cover songs this year and I've used DistroKid to publish them. They take care of acquiring the mechanical license for you. So all you need to do is just upload the song and let DistroKid take care of the rest. Do note that there is an additional fee for cover songs. Alright, now back to regular programming. What would you say if I told you there is an app on the market? We're past that part! Back in 2016, Adobe previewed an application called Adobe Voco. This was at the Adobe Max event. The program would analyze 20 minutes worth of a speech sample and could generate new speech using the same voice. Let's do it. So let's remove the word my here. Your secret's out, Jordan. And uh, we just uh, type the word Jordan. Ooh. And here we go. And uh, uh, I kissed Jordan and my dogs. <laughs> Now, I'm not sure what happened with Vocal, as it's been four years and Adobe has yet to release this program. So the foundation of this technology is based on a neural network architecture for text-to-speech synthesis, which is available through other developers. Google Cloud, Amazon Polly, and Microsoft Azure are a few of them. In fact, even Apple has a brilliant text-to-speech implementation in their Mac OS platform. If you go to System Preferences, Accessibility, under the Speech tab, you can select a voice. You get a variety of different voices. Then you can type in any text in the text edit application. And then in the edit menu, you can go to speech and select start speaking. Hello and welcome to the future of text to speech technology. All right, I did that for fun, but you get regular American or British English voices as well. Now all these text-to-speech voice programs use existing voices. You can't use your own voice, but there are applications that do let you use your own voice. Google developed one called Tocotron version 2. Adam Neely talked about this briefly in his deepfake text-to-speech video. If you want to hear this in action, check out the Vocal Synthesis channel on YouTube. Lots of good content there. Now I don't think the Tocotron implementation is available to the public, but there are other options. Let's talk about Descript, a program that is developed for audio transcription and text editing. Like it or not, there's gonna come a day when you think, Oh my god, I should do a podcast. We could do a podcast. A what now? Podcast. Dad, I want you to be a guest on my beauty podcast. Great. And when that day comes, you'll probably also think, How do we make a podcast? Say hello to Descript. It's how you make a podcast. They bought over a company called Liabird that works on text-to-speech and Descript has made that technology available in their program and they call it Overdub. This is what I'm using. Creating your digital voice takes at least one minute. One minute? My God. Yeah, so before, to create some uh, artificial voice of someone, you would need to record yourself for um, at least uh, eight hours. Well, I did have to record about 90 minutes of sample audio to train their neural network. Reading what only seems like the script for planet Earth. Memory. The antelope are coming and gather in antelope. Then after a few hours, the voice was ready to use. Using the application is as simple as typing something and hitting play. This is a test of the Descript overdub voice. Now this overdub feature is not free, though there is a 7-day trial period. Alternatively, you can check out Replica Studios. They do the exact same thing and it is currently completely free. The training is only about 10 minutes long, though personally I feel Descript's overdub produces much better results. Here's a demo of Replica Studios text-to-speech using my voice. This is a demo of the text-to-speech synthesis using Replica Eterdi Olsen. What? Descript has a playback speed control, but here we don't get such a feature. Now if you're wondering how exactly this technology works, I think the easiest way to understand it is to compare it to concatenation synthesis, which is what is used for those Yamaha Vocaloid programs. So in concatenative synthesis, short samples of audio are strung together to create new patterns based on input defined in a score editor and lyric editor. Of course, the text-to-speech neural network of Lyrebird and Tocotron is a lot more sophisticated in this implementation. But for us non-programmers, 
such an explanation should suffice. So go ahead and try this out yourself and let me know what you think about this technology. Now before you go, if you are wondering which parts of this video were my real voice and which ones were synthesized, whenever I'm using my original voice, you will see a red pill on the top right corner of the video. And when it's synthesized, you will see a blue pill. This should give you a good comparative analysis of AI me and the real me. Hope you found this topic interesting and useful. Please stay tuned for more. <clears throat>